Welcome to County Report this week. I'm Lorna Virgili. A proposal released by the Governor's Redistricting Advisory Committee has gained a lot of attention in recent days. That plan reshapes our area's congressional districts and it's raised concerns among some local officials. Susan Kennedy has a story. Susan? Lorna, officials here today say the proposed congressional redistricting map has lots of flaws, one of them primarily being unnecessarily dividing communities of interest. As required by law, districts must be examined the year following the census. The 2010 census saw a huge growth in the minority population in Montgomery County. The legislature uh, during the special session. Officials at this week's press event say the new congressional district map ignores all the fundamental changes that have taken place in Montgomery County over the past decade. It's out on strikes in three counts. Not compact, not contiguous, and unnecessarily divides uh, communities of interest. Over 50% of the growth in the whole state was Hispanic growth. And yet now it is uh, dispersed to ensure that other uh, representatives will have a higher minority vote in their district, diluting the voting strength of these three minority groups. That option makes those groups the statistical minority in this majority minority county. When I look at District 6 and I look at Garrett County to Allegheny County to Washington County coming down and then coming into Montgomery County and I ask you to just pause and tell me what those counties have in common. We don't have established relationships with these other counties and how would this person be able to then represent the interests of all of our people in those communities. Also under the proposed redistricting map, Montgomery would be moved completely out of the district of Representative Donna Edwards. Officials say they will push the governor to make substantial changes to the proposal before it goes to the General Assembly. I'm sure that the governor can come up with a better plan that meets those criteria, uh, and I would urge him uh, to do so. We want to be a part of the American political process. And that's why we are so wanting to work with the governor to address this issue so that we can move forward together as one Maryland. I'm Susan Kennedy for County Report This Week.